I started to say, what if I can pull this off? When I first walked into the Navy SEAL recruiter's office, he looked at me and said, there's only been 35 African Americans in 70 years make it through. You know what I said to myself? What if I can be the 36th? It's the what if I can pull off a fucking miracle. What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? And just that, just me talking about that, I have the hair going up on my arms because it makes me just like, what if? No, I want to turn in a million times and say, you failed, you failed. And I said, okay, Roger that. And sit there and analyze what I'm doing wrong. Go to these places that people don't go to anymore because all this fucking social media shit and everything's computerized. I want to go to that dark place in my mind and say, okay, how are we going to get this done? So when your plan fails, we're not supposed to fucking... I'm fucking toast, out of breath. Uh, but welcome back, guys. Day, what's today's day? 29 of 75 hard, January 29th. And I just, fuck, I just finished my uh, first workout of the day. We ran around this lake. This, I have this local lake. It's around, around two miles, depending if you like, take a shortcut. If you take the shortcut, it's like 1.7 miles. That's what I did today, but we just fucking booked the whole thing. So I did 1.7 miles in around like 14 minutes. Not sure what that pace is, but that's the fastest I ever ran that. Uh, but I am freaking cooked. Today I'm basically gonna show you my full you know routine what i'm doing for 75 hard so what you got to do is you got to do two workouts and one of them has to be outside so that's what i've been doing outside i've been doing either a run or a walk uh, sometimes i'll just book the whole mile but depending on like if i'm lifting legs that day maybe i'll do like a little walk kind of like light jog but yeah this has been absolutely killer uh, i've never like pushed this hard uh through anything honestly because i've done i've done some cuts before but the cardio is basically just like walking so it was easy but to, to do running and then lifting takes a toll on you. But definitely notice a change in mentality uh, as well as the physique. But the current physique right now, we're chipping away. I think the last time we filmed was 200, 200 pounds. Right now we're 198. Pop up a picture right here for Merrick. And yeah, we're chipping away. The goal is 190, but low key want to go like a little bit deeper because I feel like I'm going to hit 190 before, you know, 75 hard is done. So I think I'm just going to cut until 75 hard is over. Um, and that should be the final physique and the goal from there is to kind of run the program again and maintain it and then Maybe compete uh, towards the end of the summer. That's kind of the goals right now But yeah now I will uh, see you in a few hours back at the iron chicken I gotta go catch my breath and I gotta go eat something and I'm probably going to down uh, one of the uh, one of the rise hydrations to replenish all the electrolytes I just lost so I'll see you in the gym, baby What's up, baby? Back in the iron chicken. I want to apologize for not being able to talk after that run. Couldn't even think. I was so dead. And now I'm also chafed after that. So I have a fucking terrible pain in the ins inside of my thighs. But we're going to power through it. And uh, now, baby, we're going to hit back. And I think, yeah, back and shoulders. Um, turns out I was running the wrong split for literally, I want to say over a month. It's the 29th. Yeah, like a month. Um, I hopped on a new split for the new year and my coach said he updated it, like updated the split we were running and it was gonna be pretty much a new split, just a couple movements. And we've, ha we've been working together for like, for like a year and we had four other splits and I was running the wrong one. So uh, now we're running a new split and the new split is actually pretty sick, to be honest. Uh, it's kind of like a modified bro split. Uh, I was getting bored of the push-pull legs and the Arnold split anyway. Uh, those are great splits, it's just they're very monotonous. Uh, so this split is chest with arms, um, and that's day one. So whatever the first muscle you hear, that's the main priority. So chest with arms, the majority of my volume for chest will be on that day. Um, and then the second day is a quad focused leg day with a little bit of hammies. So main focus is quads. And then today is back with shoulders, main focus on back, a little bit of shoulder volume. And then um, rest day if I want to. Uh, probably end up hitting, you know, like calves or something, calves, forearms, abs, just because it's 75 hard and I have to work out two times. Um, and then the split is arms, like day five, arms with a little bit of chest, 
uh, hammy focus leg day, my fucking least favorite day. I just get freaking bent over. My hamstrings are so sore the day after. And then uh, shoulders, hitting the boulders, focusing on building the cap delts uh, with a little bit of back width because back width is like my uh, weak point. Uh, so I'm trying to bring that up. And yeah, that's the new split. Um, and it's fire in my opinion. So if you want a new split that's kind of outside of the box, try that out. But enough chitter chatter. Now it's time to actually finish my second rise fuel of the day and then pour some pre in here. I'm a fucking psycho. Yeah, we're gonna use the higher sim one. Fuck it. I was planning on using Element because, you know, the, the freaking energy drink has a lot of caffeine in it. But fuck it. We're gonna do the new Sour Punch Loaded 400 milligrams of caffeine. 390, but basically 400. And uh, the Sour Punch Green Apple. It's actually really fire. To be honest, I'm not much of a green apple uh, kind of guy, um, but this actually caught me by surprise and I really like it. But look at that. It's got like the, the uh, Sour Punch little crystals in there. So really fire. It's not too sour either. It's kind of more sweet than sour in my opinion. But it smells sour, dude. I smelt this like it's right out of the tub, almost burnt my nose hairs. Look at this, putting it in the grenade cup. <laughs> this is like my oldest shaker cup I got. It's awesome. Dude, most of my like good shaker cups are in my car when I go to the lake and go for that run. Yeah. And they're just in my passenger seat, just stocked up there. Just load up there, that's me too. They probably smell like shit. It's actually kind of wild, dude. Look at this. The scooper is really, really not that bad. But little do you know, it is lethal. You do a second one of this, good luck, man. Good luck. I've done it before. Bad news. That was back in my heyday, though. I can't do shit like that now. I, I could. I, I'm able to do shit like that if, like, if I don't have caffeine throughout the day. Like mm -hmm. now, like since I'm really working and stuff, like in college, I could have done that. But now, got work throughout the day, so I need some sprinkled with caffeine throughout the day. Okay. So by the time I take this, I'm like really cracked out and I actually feel it. So that's good, I guess, but the accumulative caffeine intake, still about a gram a day. But that being said, down the friggin' hatch. I've got one that hit the ceiling, but that wasn't even a bad one. Yeah, that wasn't even a bad one. I'm like low key scared to drink this. I don't know why. By the way, I fucked up. It's brick in here. I turned the heater off right after filming my TikTok, or right for like while I was filming my TikToks, because this fucking thing is loud as hell. But now, after a couple hours, no heat, it's brick, and these machines are ice cold. So, gotta crank this bad boy while I warm up. So loud and obnoxious. <laughs> Ladies and gents, first exercise, lat pull down with the standard bar, nothing too fancy. Uh, putting on this neck pad thing on the Smith machine because in my case, my Smith machine triples as a lat pull down, seated row, and Smith machine. And this thing digs into my fucking nuts and it hurts so bad once I start putting a lot of weight on. So putting this bad boy on right here, and this and hip thrusts are the only thing that I use this for. Should never, ever use this to squat as a neck pad. Never ever do that. It's almost as bad as wearing lifting gloves. Not what I'm about on this page. And moving this bench over here, little makeshift lat pull down. That's the one thing I love about the garage gym. I've become a fucking monstrous innovator see some of the shit I was doing before I got all these machines, dude. I would do like seated rows in the corner with like that barbell or like two, two long barbells like that. I would do some wild shit. Sometimes it didn't work, but sometimes it actually, I found something cool. All right, learning from my mistakes. Almost just dropped into that set and nuked Rocky One. Merrick, roll the clip of me destroying Rocky One, please. Here we go, behind the head curls. Oh fuck, am I gonna smash this picture? I don't think so, I think I'll be good. Oh fuck, no. 
Oh no, there goes Rocky One. Gonna need a new frame for that. Oh man, Rocky One just shattered. Got glass all over the iron chicken now. Shit, man, gotta go on Amazon and get a new picture frame. Gotta take the Rocky One and Rocky Two down. It's because I put this Smith machine in a terrible place. And this thing's 500 pounds and impossible to move, so. I'll show you that video right after this, right after one of my sets. Dude, I've literally never started with lat pull downs and I'm so strong. I might have to fucking rack the stack. It was 90. No, I can't, definitely can't rack the stack. Maybe, we'll see. But I think the sets are three sets of 10 to 12. So we'll see what happens. But I was thinking about this today. I think once you pass, completely unrelated, but I think once you pass day like 21 of 75 hard, so week three, you're pretty much smooth sailing. Cause I'm like damn day 29 right now. I don't want to fuck it up. It's fucking almost a month. Might as well, what's another month and a half? Got to get it done. And I think it ends literally, this might be tough. It ends the, the first day that I'm probably going to be in the UK for the young LA Arnold. Yeah. I got to tell you about that by the way. Yeah, yeah. Cause you're invited if you want to come. Yeah. One thing I will say about 75 hard is uh, I'm not getting optimal rest. So this could maybe hinder my uh, muscle uh, pr preservation on the cut, but mainly it's probably gonna be ne negligible. I'll probably look around the same on the la as the last cut. Um, but yeah, last set here, doing uh, same amount of reps, 10, 12, and then a drop set. Is it optimal? Probably not, but who gives a fuck? I'm having fun, I'm training, and we're getting a sweet pump from the drop set. Training beyond failure, so fuck it. Is it gonna you know, trash my recovery? Perhaps, maybe, but um, fuck it. Pump's worth it. tip here if you're too lazy and you don't want to use straps just literally use your hand as like a little hook little claw there uh, just so your forearms don't gas out before your lats because then your set just fucking gets ruined and it pisses me off so use them as hooks don't fully grab the bar little tip there Alrighty, moving on to one of the new machines one of the new big rigs got my standing t-bar press and, or not T-bar press, I'm fucking spent from the lap pull downs. T-bar row, I should have corrected me by the way. <laughs> Sound like an idiot if I didn't uh, realize. But T-bar row, uh, going, uh, going the neutral grip, close neutral grip, just to emphasize those lats, get that big stretch and squeeze. Um, if you wanna do this with an upper back and focus on your upper back, I'd recommend going here and a little bit, um, and out here will kind of focus the upper back and a little bit of the rear delts too, but. Uh, but a general rule of thumb is like shoulder width. Um, shoulder width is upper back, neutral is lats, and then really wide is upper back and uh, rear delts. So little general rule of thumb there. But I'm gonna hit, I gotta hit this set and stop yapping. So Lou behind the camera just asked me if this machine is heavy, the start resistance. 
And the astounding answer to that is yes. You know why? Because this is American-made steel. This ain't no hollow Chinese steel. Nothing against the Chinese, but any piece of Chinese equipment, that shit's light as hell. They're not using American-made steel. Look at the sound of this. That's literally just on the steel mill. Someone was just hammering that fucking thing, welding it. This is legit, so not gonna put on much weight there, so don't make fun of me. See this, I was, I was benching 315 before this. Nah, just kidding, I was filming a TikTok. But going probably like two plates for the actual working sets. This shit's fucking heavy, man. I wish I could have a nice aesthetic shot of me rowing four plates, but it's just not in the cards, unless, unless I want to hop on gear, but I plan on being a natty for life. So, probably gonna be stuck on two plates for the next four years to come, <laughs> for being real. Probably not gonna be adding much weight for the next few years. All right, we're just gonna grip it and rip it. No straps to begin with. I'm gonna assess and see how hard it is without the straps, if my grip slips. Um, we'll see, if it does slip, I'll be pissed because the set's probably gonna get ruined. But I think we should be good. The, the American-made knurling should hold up into the calluses. So, throw it on Ozzy Osbourne and we're gonna fucking rip it. I should throw on another dish? Fuck yeah. it. Fuck it. Hell yeah. If it doesn't pay off, whatever, but it looks cool for the video. <laughs> well, it goes nothing. Fuck it. It's gonna look cool for the video. <laughs> That was so heavy. I fucked my foot placement up too, so it was off balance. I was like, oh fuck. Not bad. I think the perfect weight is like 225. But that looked cool for the set. Yeah. So it's gonna look cool, it's gonna look cool on camera. Alright, that was a little stupid, I'll be honest with you. George Washington, we're gonna add a George Washington, should be the right weight. It should be perfect. Because two plates was too light, got well over the rep range. That fucking thing was too heavy. But this bad boy should be perfect. I'm throwing on this belt as we were fucking using before. And this bad boy, I literally had this fucker since 2018. And this American leather, this is from Rogue. American made leather, if that's even a thing, I don't know. But this shit is just getting broken in now. And it's how many years ago? Six years? That's high quality shit right there. Probably gonna have this thing till, probably gonna pass it down to my son. And then just then, that's probably gonna be where it's done for me. It's not as cool looking as the down the hatch belt that I have, but this thing is legit. This one actually protects my spine. It's not for show. It's not for show. Guys, a little tip here. If you wanna make some progress and kinda of keep track of things, I mean, you don't have to be too crazy, too scientific with it, too optimal with it. Just to, you know, write down a quick note, just to gauge your, you know, your effort and your intensity on the, um, on the sets you're doing, how many reps you're getting, just so you can know what to beat. Um, after every set, what I do, so me, me and my coach have this app, my coach has this app that I track my thing, my weights with. So T-bar row, I'll just log in every set, you know, 15 reps with that many plates, whatever, with that many plates. And so over time, you know, when I come back to this workout, I know what I'm trying to beat. And I know like if, if I do beat that, then we're making some progress. But if I'm sticking around the same, you know, the same uh, weights and reps, 
And we know we're maintaining weight, but if I'm fucking, if my strength is plummeting, then something I'm doing is probably wrong. Maybe the volume's too much, maybe the fucking, I'm eating way too less on the cut. Something would be, you know, definitely out of whack there. But it's a good way to track your progress and see what's actually going on with your physique is just by writing down, you know, weights and reps. So, a little tip there. Keep track of shit. Hey man, sets don't gotta be pretty. They just gotta be executed. They just gotta be fucking done with as much effort and intensity as possible. Who cares if you look like a fucking idiot while you're doing it? Go hard, fucking pass out afterwards. That's the kind of mindset you gotta have. But I'm fucking winded now. Hmm. All right, boys and girls, first upper back kind of focus movement here. We're doing my uh, machine row on my new machine, but we're gonna, gr we're gonna lower the seat a little bit, all the way down, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the outside handles. Hold up, let me fix this. Uh, probably put it on this notch here, the second notch. We grab the upper handles, lean forward slightly, and we're gonna put our head down a little bit, and we're gonna focus on driving our elbows directly back in like a 90 degree angle, really focusing on the rhomboids in the upper back. Because everything we've been doing has been with the neutral grip, focusing on those lats. And the last lat movement will be next, and I'm gonna be doing a, uh, and I'm gonna be doing a single arm uh, movement for my lats, unilateral movement. And I'm gonna be doing a unilateral row, turn towards the side on each side, and then really hammer in those lats, just on a single arm movement. But for now, we gotta hit the upper back and give it some love. Literally wrapping my body around this machine like a python, squeezing it with my legs, and then just fucking rowing it. That's what you gotta do though. You gotta get comfortable in the machine. You gotta do whatever you can to get stable. Sometimes I'm like fucking, sometimes I'm like this. Do, do what you gotta do to get stable. Sometimes I'm just like putting the fucking thing in a headlock. You gotta do whatever you gotta do. Okay. <clears throat> See what I mean by the chest here, bro? Yeah, okay. I need a manscaped ASAP. But how's the back? How's the back looking? That's good. I'm just, cool, yeah. I'm just fucking pale.
<laughs> fucking lost count on the right arm, but failed on both, so that's all I need. Good. Couldn't resist. Couldn't. You see me? All right, ladies and gentlemen, fucking back and shoulders are spent. I don't know if I mentioned it uh, on the run, but morning low, we hit a new one, 198. So chipping away into the 190s. The goal is to break out of the 190s and just maintain from there. Uh, so chipping away, and uh, yeah, the face is getting leaner. That's probably the best sign of leanness, the best fucking uh, side effect of getting lean. The chiseled face, getting more handsome. And uh, now a little physique update. Cue the montage. Yeah, that's what we should.